everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Eva back again. Uh, I'm trying to put together this journal. Uh, I'm <laughs> working on this journal for more than a year. The, not working on it. I started the journal and then put it aside and then forgot it. And now I found it. So I would like to finish it. I do have there some kind of uh, pockets. I don't have all pockets done. Uh, I do have their selected papers, which I would like to have there as writing papers. I'm missing all kinds of decorations. So yesterday I started to create little clusters. I do have video for that. So I will put a kind of quick, a quick cut through the stages I went to create these. I do have everywhere in my house boxes of off cuts and all kinds of scraps. So I decided first to do collage paper from all kinds of book pages, uh, which I do have in all these boxes. And once I had uh, one sheet of this collage done, uh, I wanted to choose the right colors. For that, I pull out the cover I'm going to be using for this journal. And I choose these uh, two front colors, uh, which I like the most, the light blue and kind of like vintage pink, I will say. The first coat I made uh, with white gesso and I used that dry brush technique and I just toned the, those book pages a little bit down with that white gesso. Then very next coat was that... Uh, vintage violet color from Ranger and I used brayer and spread uh, the color here and there same way uh, I used for editing the blue color I will add the names to description below for those who are interested to have a look so these colors I used to decorate uh, color tones on my collage sheet once this collage sheet was uh, dry I added also uh, darker spots. Uh, I do have on my colorful palette, color palette uh, all the time now mixed uh, ground espresso color with water to make these splatters. Then I used all kinds of dyes and cut out frames from that. I also wanted to have colored strips, which I'm using quite often in my journals. So I used these two colors, that pink one and blue one, to color these strips as well for making my clusters. Once I had all these pieces prepared, uh, I pull out from my... Uh, drawers also some uh, ephemeras i had stored them there and i started to do little layouts of these frames i cut out uh, i like that look of these uh, layered frames it looks so awesome and it gives me a uh, kind of base for next decorating so i really did enjoy this uh, little layering uh, it's very easy and it's very re relaxing craft with this uh, when you have all these pieces done. So you can make actually mass making for all journal at once. And it's awesome to, to create this one. So here you can see how I'm making a uh, few collages uh, with these frames and those perforated strips. It's really easy. So that was all about creating these little clusters and they just got stuck here. Look at that. These little clusters. This is just like a little base and they are not finished. That was like a little base and I would like to create them a little bit more dimensional and uh, I'm not sure where I when I made these. It's long, long time ago when I had scraps of cuts of cardstock like this and I didn't know any better. <laughs> solution at that time <laughs> then just took some stamps and stamp on it and i'm thinking maybe these could be cute as a background of my little clusters and i do have these books with uh, stickers all kind of stickers these books are amazing but i'm not using them because um, i don't know uh, you know i mostly i do forget today i would like to choose some images from these two books i do have also one with butterflies i will put links down below where i found them i found them on amazon i hope the links will still work if they still work you will find the links in the description box 
I do have also this with butterflies, so maybe I will choose, uh, you know, bees, butterflies. clusters I made uh, today for my future journal so I'm gonna show them one by one some of them they do have that liquid pearl on it I will add probably some labels on them uh, once they will be fixed on pages or pockets or tags so maybe I will around add some uh, some more labels and some more stamps but for now I do have these cute little clusters where I used the labels from uh, those sticker books and I really love them and I love that uh, liquid pearls look on these little clusters look at that <laughs> how beautiful is that these colors are awesome so here I added those liquid pearls just like extra decoration here I made border around that star. And this one. So I kept those two colors on um, all of them. The blue and kind of like old pink or I'm not sure what kind of color I, can, I should use the name. I think I like the most this one where I had the butterfly I added a little bit of that liquid pearls and that that flower is just stunning this one this one very simple and this first one which I made and I added liquid pearl here so that's all my sharing for today I hope you did enjoy it I hope you had a fun uh, enjoy your craft thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a wonderful time take care of yourself and I will see you soon bye